And uh, let's see, it looks like we've got another team that's standing there on the blocks. Hey, Camille, who have you got down there now? Okay, um, let's see, what's your name? I'm Nadine. I'm Ilya. And where are you from? Moscow, Russia, Moscow. Another international team. What is your strategy today? Uh, How do you plan on winning today? Just win. Just win. <laughs> Beat this strong, strong, strong. Quickly, 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 and win. That's awesome. Yeah. Good luck, guys, and back to Thank you guys. You. Thank you. Thanks, Camille. See, it makes it win. seem so simple. Just it, win. They, they got the Nike logo somewhere on there. <laughs> just, just win. We just win. I like it. So they're, uh, they're definitely going to be in store for an interesting experience. Yeah, this is uh, once design again. design looks Go pretty good. The tires uh, look fairly robust, and they look like they're ready for um, uh, pretty good speed with the, with the drive system there. The dust abatement vehicle, uh, devices rather. All right, let's hear the last safety checks. And there we are, team number eight. This is uh, this is the second team, rather, from the International Space Education Institute from Leipzig, Germany, one of our college teams. And this is one of those teams that has come on really strong the last few years and is doing very well. And uh, I believe they actually brought their payload with them. It's oh, this is fantastic. Telemetry. You can see we have a telemetry system set up here so that we can see what our teammates are doing live. So we can see it right here on the screen. Can you try to tilt that up just a little bit? What's your name, by the way? My name's Jonathan. All right, this is Jonathan, once again, one of the team members from the uh, uh, International Space yeah. Sorry? From the International Space Station. Yes. yes. We wanted to, I don't know if folks are able to see that uh, yeah, right there. That's actually a live image that we, whoops. Well, that's just a spare <laughs> antenna, it's all right. Oh, spare antenna, okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, there goes the antenna, a, and everything we went have dark. A directional antenna that my teammate over there is pointing squarely at our buggy to make sure that we get the most accurate video signal we can. I'm sure his folks are watching, too. What's his name? His name is Lennox, from, right. he, he's from Germany. All right, Lennox from Germany. Excellent. Okay. You, you, you're, hey, Lennox, how old are you? Uh, I'm 10 years old. You're 10 years old. You want to say hi to your mom back home? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have teammates ranging from age 8 to age over 22, so we're a very diverse group. Fantastic. And it looks like, uh, I, it's funny because I, I can, okay, there you are. I can see your team over there, but we're going to actually also watch them right here for, for live telemetry. So, so who came up with this idea? So it was a joint idea. We've had telemetry systems in the past, but we've never had live video transmission. So we decided that this year we try to create a live video transmission system, and that's exactly what we did. So all three of the International Space Education Institute buggies do have video transmission systems, and then the German one, which is over there, also has a data transmission system, which is recording accelerometer data, so any shakes the buggy experiences, and it's uh, logging the entire route with a GPS tracker so that we can follow the route and see and what time we did what obstacles and then use that of course to improve ourselves next year and then in addition we have so we have the live streaming camera and then we have four other board cameras which are filming exactly what the buggy is doing so we can also use that to improve our buggy in the next years well, do, do you think this is the kind of thing that you can actually use to improve it for tomorrow's run? For tomorrow's run, probably yes. We're going to look at them all today. We already agreed that after all the races are done we will look at the videos and see what we can improve. Excellent. Um, looks like your team is, well, sorry, we're kind of quashing them over our shoulders here, so yeah. trying to keep an eye on how the team goes. Uh, Not sure what happened there, but whatever it is, we'll fix it and be right back here tomorrow. I have no doubt. Uh, now, is, is this a design that you guys inherited from a previous this year? This is a design that we have been improving on for the past nine years. Oh, wow. So for the entire course that we've been attending this event, we've been improving it, and every year we've been adjusting it to fit the new regulations and the new challenges that we have to face. So what kind of testing, when you're in Europe, what are you doing there to test? Well, it's mostly runs on tracks that we try to do similar ones. And then there's also long distance runs that they do. So they see how many kilometers they can drive and they do physical fitness that way. And it really helps train them and to build team spirit, of course, if they all meet each other in the summer and know each other bef like before the competition. Because we have teammates from many parts of the world. I'm from DC, we have teammates from Germany, from Russia, from India. So they can't always meet, so it helps to build team spirit that they meet in the summers then and train. 
Who you said DC? You actually mean Washington DC? Yeah, Washington DC. I'm from Washington DC. Oh, so okay, so oh no, no, it's, it's we've, we've you know we've met the yeah. international team and talked to them in years before. We've never actually. I don't. It's funny. We think it is in fact an international team, but it we've is. never very had an team. American on we the international team. On the international team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any more questions for us? No, I was just I was going to see if you wanted to chime in. Did you build anything? I, yeah, he's responsible for all our board cams, making sure they're charged and that we get good video and so that we can also analyze our race afterwards. Fantastic. Nice work. Okay. Right. Well, thank you. <laughs> Thanks again, thank Jonathan. You. Good luck. Once again, this is the team from the International Space Education Institute in Leipzig, Germany. Now they're just, uh, looks like they may just try to go ahead and muscle through. Looks like they may have had a drivetrain failure of some kind. Well, and that is uh, a tribute to the difficulty of the course. We were talking earlier about the Marshall Space Flight Center facilities uh, that came out and helped Dr. Frank Six with the implementation of the course. And they have indeed, I think, uh, topped themselves in terms of difficulty and rigor. Uh, these, the chassis, the drivetrains, everything is getting put to a big test. This team has definitely been one of those ones you'd have to watch because they are threatening to take the top spot every year. In fact, uh, let's see, in 2012, they won the best performance by an international team. Uh, in 2011, they were in fifth place, coming in with a final run time of 3 minutes and 49 seconds. Still an excellent time. Looks like they've, uh, the Martian terrain maybe have uh, once again jumped in and, and bit another team. So while uh, we're keeping an eye on these guys, and it looks like they're going to go ahead and come off the course, let's head on down to Camille, who's standing by with our next team. Camille.